Assalamualaikum dear students hope you're all fine staying home and staying safe today's topic topic of the of the lecture is adverb clauses before starting with today's lecture i want to know what is a clause well a clause is a group of words that contains a subject and predicate and functioning as a member of a sentence or a clause is a smallest grammatical unit that contains minimally a subject and a predicate that can or cannot express a complete thought or idea it means that a clause is a uh, contains a verb or a, and a subject or a predicate but it provides a complete sense of meanings after that starting with today's lecture that is adverb clause i want to know what is an adverb clause well if you can see on this slide an adverb clause is a subordinate clause that modifies a verb adjective or an adverb it means that adverb clause modifies verb adjectives and another adverb it begins with a subordinate conjunctions what are conjunctions conjunctions are conjunctions are used to join sentences and uh, clauses how it tells how when where why or to what extent for example if sam calls please tell him that i will be late it means that here at an adverb clause is if sam calls we played in the garden until the sunset until is an adverb but the whole the whole phrase or clause is until the sunset is a is an adverb clause through the through th though she was very busy or she was busy alice helped the young boy though he was busy is an adverb clause john went home after he finished his lunch here after is an adverb but are right after that after after from after to his finish the whole clause is an adverb clause well as we have talk about the definition now we are going to talk about the function what is the function of adverb clause an adverb clause is used in a sentence to add relevant or descriptive information to your content what does it, what does it mean it means that it elaborates the idea or it elaborates the piece of information at how where when it answers all these questions now let's talk about the positions when an adverb clause is placed at the start of the sentence it is usually followed by a comma what what does it mean agar for, what does it mean that if a, an adverb clause is placed at the start of a sentence it will be used it, it it will be followed by a comma and the second step commas separate the adverb clause in the middle of the sentence here it works as a as combining the two clauses or sentences it is not the usual presentation since there is an interruption of the foremost thought it means that without an adverb clause or without a comma or without an adverb clause the idea will not be understood very easily in the same way when placed at the end of the sentence an adverb clause does not require any add additional punctuation it means that when it comes at the end of the sentence then there will be no nothing more elaboration will be required to explain it moreover if we talk about adverb types adverb clauses types adverb clause of place adverb clauses of time adverb clauses of cause adverb clauses of purpose and adverb clauses of condition these were the types of adverb clauses now for using anything you have you must have must must have known about the rules and regulations in the same way for adjective clauses there are some rules a subordinate or dependent clause it keep that in mind the subordinate clause is a dependent clause that modifies or describes a noun or pronoun in a complex sentence it means that adverb clause uh, uh, sorry it means that adverb clause answers how where it questions how where and the answer of these questions is to what extent 
in the same way when and why answers under what conditions hopefully you are understanding the idea of word classes or sorry word clause in the same way on this slide it is very visible adverbs answers when as we have talked about the adverb clause answers how when where to what extent in the on this slide adverb answers when he came home late he, uh, when did he came uh, when when did he come home it means late okay she woke early they are performing now time how uh, she will she will do her homework later all these words late early now later all these words are representing adverb clause furthermore on this slide it is very visible adverb answers where your book is here your pencil is there your the, the birds are flying high the plane is flying by it means that here there high and by on are answering where the word where moreover unlike an adverb or an adverb phrase there is a difference what difference it is an adverb clause has a subject and a verb as i have talked about in my previous videos as well or in my previous lectures as well there is a difference between phrase and clause phrase is a group of words but clause contains a verb and a subject as well for example adverb they will leave soon it's an adverb soon is an adverb adverb phrase they will leave in a few minutes they will leave in a few minutes in a few minutes is a is an adverb phrase adverb what is ad, an, an adverb clause they will leave when they are ready when they are ready it means that when is showing when is showing adverb and the whole uh, and the whole clause is an adverb clause they will leave when they are ready another example of adverb clause that is contrast adverb clause of contrast clause of con contrast we took the train whereas pet drove we took the train whereas now here whereas is a is an adverb and from there whereas pet drove is an adverb clause while tom is a good math student pam does well in english while while is an adverb and from there while tom is a good math st student is an adverb clause again adverb clause of time when he arrives he will tell us the truth when he arrives here when is an adverb and when he arrives is an adverb clause mary was dancing while john was singing while is an adverb and from while to singing is an adverb clause the train left as we arrived as as is an adverb and from as to arrived as we arrived is an adverb clause so now that was all all about the adverb clauses hope you have understood the idea of what is an adverb clause and you so now moreover on this slide it is very visible that you are supposed to do your home task that is solve the exercises related to this topic okay hopefully you have gotten the idea and you will do your work uh, you will do your home task if you find any query you can ask your related subject teacher thank you so much have a nice day